going on. Where's my Monty board? Monty board puts and lays it up high so I can see. Ooh. Oh, an atomic TV on two wheels on the back. I don't even know how that happened. Monty board's over there. Monty board is way down oh, there. Looks like dog. Doc, you know, somebody from Batmobile is following the Monty board around. That's right. Back to the Future and the Batman are competing for Moxie as well, as they are on the track. What a series of events, folks, that we have for you right now. Phantom Power Racing Phantom 48 is now with 49 laps complete, with 52 minutes left in this endurance race, has an early lead. Following them is the Chibi Miku Man, who has climbed all the way back from 10th place to 2nd. In 3rd, we have Hack to the Future, your championship leaders, with a damaged DeLorean. In 3rd place, the Rotosaurus Rex from Milwaukee Makerspace in 4th. Followed by Fubar, then the Batman in sixth place, the Tom Chibi in seventh, Horses of Iscariot in eighth, ninth the Iron Rose, and of course the stock car wheel Jimmy Johnson in last place. If you finish behind Jimmy Johnson, we all make fun of you because it's a stock power wheel. I mean, if you're going slower than a Jimmy car, Jimmy Johnson you're put in a solid nine laps though. Atomic Chibi. Their current enemy is the Batman. A, a whole eight laps down, though. So they have a ways to go. Jimmy Johnson actually set a personal best with 79 second lap. Meanwhile, Phantom has his personal best at 24.58 seconds. So you can see the difference. Quite a difference. Go to Source Rex and Brady now in fourth place. Back to the future and took it back from him. And five what is this? Five minutes of driver change, five minutes of driver change. And what does it all mean, Patrick, for the championship? For the championship, Hack to the Future has to hold on to third and needs plenty of moxie because the Batmobile is sitting in sixth place, not far behind. And they're going to get lots of moxie, I'm sure. It's going to get down to the last votes, folks. This is very interesting. Meanwhile, Chibi Miku Van on their amazing return to form in second place right now with Phantom, number 48, your hot rod ring leaders. The Batmobile is starting to slow. slow. Yeah, the Batman is slow. Yeah, the down. Batmobile is running 10 seconds slower than normal. I think they're trying to conserve tires. The tire calculation strategy. That's right, those pink Harbor Freight tires on the front are disastrous for this track. Chunks of them fly off at any opportunity you can get. They need to conserve tires. They know tire, a breaking a tire here could cost them the gas look up. It will definitely cost them multiple laps to change that tire. And Chibi Miku Van! Miku Van is Unfortunately, out right something is wrong. In second place, which opens it up for Hack to the Future. Hack to the Future can take second place. Just two, two laps shy. Down. This championship is swaying back and forth. Now, Hack to the Future is about to take advantage of well, Jimmy Johnson there. completing his 10th lap. Go Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Batman is in the pits now. Second place in points. Oh, no. The tide has turned. Hack to the Future is now. I guess something was wrong. That's why they're going slow. Unbelievable, Patrick. Hack to the Future is going to keep leading in the championship but they can keep and Greg Hack to the Future is about to pass Jimmy Nico Van and take second place for their insurance for their win who's gonna win this I can't tell anymore Hack to the Future is still the favorite even though they're not leading the race they got enough points to hold off Phantom this lap if they complete it will overtake Jimmy Niku Van which will put them in second place will add more points to them over the Batman in order to win the title. And now the Batman is back out. Three minutes to driver change, three minutes to driver change. Just a few more moments until drivers change. Looks like a penalty going out to Fubar. Oh no, Fubar got black flag for something. Fubar's gonna have to pull in to the Fubar box. Penalty for Fubar last. And Hack to the Future, ladies and gentlemen, would have now in second grim. place. They are now second place. And their leader, Phantom, is in first still. Oh, Fubar spun out TV Eco Van. That's what the penalty. Or Atomic TV. 
Well, my food bar is in the pit for some reason. I think he's being Ooh, told to come to the boo boo box, not the pits. Yeah, he's getting penalized into the boo boo box, not not a pit. Uh -oh. Not a pit penalty. Well, now he's got his own penalty. Apparently, he's broken at the pit exit. He's pushing it back into pits. Yeah, when you miss, make mistakes on this track. Meanwhile, Iron Rose has made a mistake. And there seems to be an issue of Iron Rose in the turn one, a local cost. The, the Grim says their current breakdown is a good enough penalty. Oh, the Iron Rose has finally had it, I think, pulling it off. A third time, too. And we still have 47 minutes in this endurance race. Two minutes to driver change, two minutes to driver change. The second stint is about to begin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are here earlier. You just witnessed Phantom almost lose the lead to Chino Miku Man from their pit stop. I would imagine that this pit stop is going to go much smoother in order to preserve their lead over Hacks of the Future, which spent most of their time back and forth in the pits, especially after they lost their entire front end of their DeLorean. Oddly, we'll take a green just before we get back underway. Green flag racing. And the leaders continue on, Phantom. The white walls on Phantom are starting to look gray. There's dirt all over that hot rod. It's now turning into a full-on rat rod. That's not dirt, it's just patina. Look at it go. Oh, oh, two wheels! Oh, Atomic Chidi. Almost having a catastrophic spill there. Yeah, that was a, uh, I don't know what's going on. That's, That's the, the second time. Wear helmet. Second time that one of the lowest cars is somehow finding a way to tip over. Back to the future, it's sitting nice now in second place. Our grim is performing the Atomic Chidi is like, almost looked like four times. That's a lot of times to almost flip your car. That's a lot of flipping. I don't know if any of you out there but want to be driving Lotus flip your car. Rex. Yeah. Keeping out there. Slow and steady work for Lotusaurus Rex. Here's a mandatory driver change in 20 seconds. Lotusaurus Rex won't be able to pass Chibi Miko Van this stint, but we'll move to next. Phantom Power Racing electing to do an earlier pit stop. Yeah, a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it plays out. It looks like they all pulled in early. They did. They're all, the strategy is to pull in before they need to. Everyone but Lotusaurus Rex. Lotusaurus Rex was able to gain an extra lap because everyone else went in. An excellent strategy from Milwaukee Makerspace. Who needed that time? Now our leader, the only one out. Back on their way on the track in first place. Second, Hack to the Future, which is desperately trying to keep their title hunt alive. Lotusaurus Rex with a really fast driver change. Patrick, two laps down on Chini Nikoban. Patrick, I'm in the pits right now. Right now. Patrick, I'm in the pits right now, and Hack to the Future's taking more parts off of their car. More parts off? The DeLorean time machine is falling to pieces. It's like Back to the Future 3 all over again. It is. It looks like it's been hit by a train. And it has to keep going. The only way Marty can get back now. Marty won't get back to 1985 below the car like that. Meanwhile, the Batman continues to put laps down. Yes, Lotusaurus Rex just now passed Chibi Miku Van for third place. Patrick, I'm back here in the Hack PGH pits. What happened out there? You lost the whole front end. Well, uh, some that was, was my bad. Uh, so we're back to it. And, 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 uh, and, uh, no endurance, but, but that means a lot of a lot of tanks, a lot of the ride, and a lot of passion out there. So with only uh, about three more stints left, how much more are they, can you keep this car together for the end? Uh, absolutely. Everyone who's ever uh, seen uh, anything that Hacking Burns put out there on the track knows that uh, they last and last and last. Uh, they stop throwing things. That's what they uh, uh, the outside. Uh, well, hopefully they'll be able to do that, but Hack to the Future right now, battling Bruise and continuing on. Meanwhile, the Elastic Horats. Batman is pulled in. <laughs> Looks like some adjustments. While Tom McCheevy's back out underway. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're back here, I wouldn't direct your entire attention to it. But Chibi Mikuban is doing some welding. 
to the front end of their car. As I look through this water bottle, so it doesn't damage my eyes, I'm determining that it has to do with their steering linkage, that they're welding back on in the middle of the race, because that's what it takes to win the endurance race. I have an early result right now from the uh, Moxie board, and it looks like Back to the Future is trailing behind the Batmobile by a couple of Moxie points there. This is going to be really close, then. It's going to be really close. We've got 590 Moxie votes so far. It looks like Doc Brown is going to need some time traveling miracles to pull this off. We're going to have to go back in time and get more Moxie votes because right now the Batman is keeping it strong. Moxie versus Pace versus Moxie again. Came down to that last year. What will happen this year? But meanwhile, Hack to the Future, with its heroic battle to stay alive, is so damaged now. That DeLorean, I'm hoping they can tell it's still a time machine. Almost 600 boxing votes in now. With 41 minutes left in this endurance race, there is still plenty of action here. This is a long race show. And boy, has it shown on our cars. But right now, source Rex moving up to third place due to attrition. In fact, the Batmobile has now grown great and moved up to fourth. They were sitting back in sixth. Yeah! The Batman is definitely gaining on Hacks of the Future, which means Hacks of the Future now has to keep going. They need to survive this race. The only way for them to win this is to finish, and they've got to keep the car together. They've got to keep the car together. They've got a lot of space between their next uh, component, Lotusaurus Rex, so they just need to sit pretty between Phantom and Lotusaurus Rex. That's right, Patrick. If I was their team, I would hold off on Phantom and try to preserve the car for the overall title for the Tesla Cup. But right now, they can't do much else because the Batman is gaining on everything. Even Atomic TV is going to eventually go past TV to ran at this rate. Oh, Atomic TV is going to go to you to ran this map out. And it's Atomic TV who had a problem. I'm hoping those Moxie votes are getting put in right now because there's a lot of Moxie on this track. Both from the Batman and Hack to the Future. The Batman staying strong and keeping it together. Hack to the Future surviving under every single tumultuous moment of this race. Somehow continuing on in second place. Their car is just turned and beaten to pieces and yet it still goes on. But will it be able to finish? I don't, I don't even know at this point because we're, we're just crossing the halfway point and this car is really on its edge. I don't know who's going to do it. I just don't know right now. But Phantom, your leader number 48, that hot rod, is also looking for Moxie Point. As the leader, who stayed out of trouble the entire race. Oh, and the, and the wheels wheel. come off of the Batman. It's oh, the that's wheel. That's the wheel. Third time this weekend that the Batmobile has lost its wheel. The aristocrats are right there to pull it off the track. I know they're prepared for this. They, have, they told me before the race they have seven extra wheels. <laughs> but that is this thing you change. Well, I mean, think about how many times you sung that song as a kid. Each time the Batmobile actually does lose a wheel. They do it for it. The Joker always gets away. Meanwhile, Miku Band just lost their timing and scoring. How did you even do that? Needs a little push start to get underway. Miku Band, he doesn't have a reverse I believe. No, he doesn't have reverse and he needs a slight bump start with the type of motor he has. Yeah, has been parked over here in the runoff area. I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, it's know. losing to spots every moment. So there goes Jimmy Johnson yeah, around the track the and high five. Jimmy Johnson in a Stormtrooper outfit knows he can't win anything. I don't He's at least going to win some high fives. I don't know. Iron Rose just had a best lap of 33.368. A personal best for Iron Rose. That actually is a very good lap by Iron Rose right there. Round of applause for Iron Rose for that nice lap they just pulled off. 
Uh, Tommy G keeping out himself. about a minute there off the track, got something working again, is now off again. Lotusaurus Rex trying desperately to hold on to third place. Lotusaurus Rex wants to walk away with each weekend with at least one medal. She might walk away with the bronze? No. Back to the future, she get a nice silver okay. And Phantom, certainly the favorite right now for that golden yes for this race. Phantom is definitely in the running for the champion cup. Back to the Future is going to win that Tesla Cup if they can hold off Batmobile. Oof. But the Moxie Cup is definitely going to go to the Batmobile if they can keep their Moxie campaign going. The toss up now is who's going to get the Moxie Award, who's going to get the Tesla Award? Will it be, fan or, uh, will it be Batmobile or will it be Hack to the Future? Oof. I don't know who's going to win it, Patrick. It is so close right now between the two of them. Either way, it's going to come down to race points and moxie. Seriously, Patrick, this championship is going to go to the last lap. It is absolutely going down to the wire. And both teams are putting up an amazing yeah. fight. Who are the comic TV now shooting it out for a 6th and 7th place? Who are... He's got Atomic Chibi hot on their heels. Fubar is trying to hold off Atomic Chibi. Atomic Chibi is two seconds a lot faster than them, but they have problems. Atomic Chibi wants sixth place from Fubar. I don't think Fubar knows Atomic Chibi's behind them is going to beat them. No, I don't know. I don't know if they, are, they realize they're under attack right now. But yeah, you're right, Dash. They are currently are crossing the line there in the green pickup truck. But Atomic Chibi, the yellow... BW thing right behind them. That is a battle for position right now, folks. Sixth and seventh place right there. Let's see how it goes right now. Atomic TV is faster, but it's got problems. It's had a host of problems. And Fubar has had not as many problems, but Atomic TV seems to have a better race pace. Five minutes of next driver change. I know Fubar has a problem changing batteries rather quickly. Patrick, I've done that driver change in five minutes. I am seeing Atomic TV crawl, crawling its way closer to Fubar. It's a slow crawl. Slowly inching his way towards them. Every lap a couple feet closer. That's a position battle right now. Meanwhile, the leaders, Atomic Chibi on two wheels again. And here comes Phantom. Right again. Again. Not no, no, Atomic Chibi. Fubar had something problem. No, no, no. Fubar's got an electrical problem with their car. There they go. That crossed their uh, position. That crossed them that position. Yes. Atomic Chibi. Atomic Chibi now sixth place. But we have another race now going on between the Horse and Scary at, and Iron Rose. Both of them, I believe, are in the pits Ryan right now. Rose. Oh, and Atomic Chibi just gave the position back to Fubar with a technical error. Oh, no. He's going to have to do it all over again. That's right. Iron Rose just passed the horse and scary, which is still in the pits. Something's wrong with the Baltimore Burners. Iron Rose moving herself up to eighth place. And it looks like Chibi Mikuban's gonna try their best. They're in fifth place right now and attacking the Batman. But a lot of stuff has to go down. Chibi Mikuban and Batman setting similar lap times. Oh, and I see the wheel buckling in Chibi Mikuban. I'm not sure what's happening. Phantom's trying to stay out of trouble there in first place. Just trying to keep it easy. I'd like oh, to remind you, here, there's that blue race for 6th and 7th place. Oh no! Atomic Chibi almost had it there in turn 1, but again, something happened. And now he's lost all that ground he just made up. Patrick, I want to give a rundown to the leader right now. Phantom Power Race is currently 3rd in place, but they are 1st place in this race. For more, at this point, if they can hold their position and get enough moxie, they can win the title themselves. So Phantom Power Racing, that hot rod out there in first place, the one that stayed out of the most trouble, is also looking for your moxie for first. It's not just Hack to the Future and Batman, but Hack to the Future, right now, currently in second place, has survived absolutely every single possible problem that they could face. 
And Mossador going around right now, only 32 minutes left to racing. Two minutes, or uh, three minutes, two minutes driver team. We're coming into our third stint then. And Hack to the Future, the story of the day. Can Hack to the Future recover from all these mistakes? Will they be able to hold off the Batman? And their Batman's rise to power. Phantom laughing Hack to the Future once again. Phantom definitely dominating this race today. Well, well, Patrick, the Phantom has to dominate this race in order to capitulate on the championship host. That black number 48 is the quickest thing out here today. Oh, it looks like all that work is starting to pay off. Atomic Chibi now hot on the heels of Blue Bar. He's going to make a pass on this corner. Can't quite do it. Maybe he can do it in the straight. Not quite. He might have another opportunity in the Aziz. Still can't do it. The door opens all and right. shuts all the time on Atomic Chibi. He's having a look. The leaders are standing by. Phantom passes instead. It's all the Atomic Chibi. All that ground he had made up and lost it with the race leaders going in front. Ooh, I heard some stuff going on. on. Tracing, tracing those birds. And a power slide from TV Eku, man. You gotta pay attention Horton to this car, folks. Horton's back out there. Horton's carrying it. Might take eight plays from Iron Road to make this up this day. You gotta pay attention to TV Eku, man. Those straight folks. Give a watch as he puts the power down. Well, one minute to driver change. One minute to driver change. Look at him slide into turn one like that. He's been doing that this entire time. If you want to see no, Fubar got lost on turn one and gave it up to Dr. Oh, Your wheel, your wheel! Fubar and Atomic TV got together. I'm not even sure who was fault at that. But Fubar takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And that front end of that car. Wow, the front end of that car. That is it's like 35 degree angle now. I, I can't even tell. That car used to be completely green, ladies and gentlemen. It's now more, it's getting more silver than green on it. Ten seconds to mandatory driver change. Ten seconds to mandatory driver change. You're out. Watch. The second to last driver change. That's this, right. This one gets started. Crucial. The fourth state now. Uh, Driver change! Alright Patrick, I'm gonna head back to the pits and see what is going down. We have to see what the damage is to Atomic Chibi and Chibi Mikovan possibly there. Patrick, I'm following Hacks to the Future and their desperate attempt to win this title. Things have been improving since their collision, since their car breaking down. They're making a battery change right now, folks. That's right, these cars change batteries. Their nearest competitors to Batman is getting out first, though. But there are many laps down to them. Driver change. Fubar. Back to the future has to definitely keep themselves together. Like Mark it's done. Close. Poor Atomic Chibi taking way too long in the pit. It's now lost two laps. Now going on three to Fubar. Very unfortunate. Well, though. Fubar's in the pits as well, Patrick. Fubar just pulled in the pits for another issue. Yes. Looks like they got to change the battery. I've never seen seven points so contested before, Patrick. That's and really weird to see seven points. And Fubar do a battery change in under a minute. Hey. I just, I keep forgetting how much panel damage Max of the Future has. That poor DeLorean soldiering on that more the morning and every single hit it takes to get slightly more naked. There's not going to be much of the DeLorean left at the end of this. Much like the DeLorean Motor Company itself. It's very true, Patrick. With 28 minutes remaining in this endurance race, we're not sure how this is going to go down. Add to the future has to keep it, maintain its pace. And the Batman trying to collect as much position as they can and hoping that more Moxie follows their way. They're in fourth place right now. But TV Miku Man has been able to chip away at them in this lap. And friends, their best bet is for TV Miku Man to take 
kick the Batmobile down a notch. If I were Hacks of the Future, I would start helping out Chibi Miku Bear right now because that would be their best friend at this point. That's right, Hacks of the Future better let the Chibi Miku Bear pass them so they can let the Batmobile be taken down a peg. And he is. They recognize the strategy too, Patrick. If Chibi Miku Bear can continue to overtake the Batman like it is right now, that's going to help Hacks of the Future. And they do another lap up that whittles down their position even further. Now, Chibi Miku Ben is only three laps behind that. Chibi Miku Ben, the second fastest car out there, but still stuck in fifth place. That's right. In approximately another 15 laps, Chibi Miku Ben should be able to overtake the Batman, which will cost them crucial points. So much pressure on the champions for this weekend. Because it's all coming down to this. This is what it's boiling down from all the way from May of this year. These teams have been battling back and forth. Atomic oh, Chibi now back out. It's going to be a really close cool. race between them and Kubar. They're on the same lap. Atomic Chibi is only just barely ahead of Kubar. Kubar was able to do the battery change in just over a minute. Meanwhile, John Halverson in Phantom Power Racing, your leaders, the team that has kept out of the most trouble out of anyone, and they've done it by keeping in first place, but their white walls show how much wear and tear this track gives to those teams. They were nice and clean as they're coming into this weekend. You can see how dirty they are now. For second to last stint, and John said he's just not quite in shape to keep up. Now, Mike, you might want to make sure, folks, get your moxie votes in, because Phantom Power Racing has been leading the whole day. They are fast. They have kept it together. They have not floundered like the two teams ahead of them. Meanwhile, Chibi Miku Man has spun itself around. Oh, no, and they don't have a reverse. The track marshal is there to push them back in their correct direction. And the passes on two wheels. On <laughs> two wheels, Phantom. There goes Lotusaurus Rex honking, apparently wanting to pass Blue Bar. Lotusaurus Rex is a little bit faster than them. Lotusaurus Rex also looking for Moxie. Every single one of these needs, needs your Moxie vote. Right now, I wonder how many points Phantom is able to get out there, especially with all their efforts. I don't even know where the Moxie board is right now. It's probably floating around. I can't even see it. Phantom has to put in another 30 yeah, laps over there for the first like, place. Looks like they have a younger uh, fan voting right Ten now. 10 minutes to the last driver change. Hopefully, uh... Oh! Oh! oh that's the future! Back to the future, I think, has a flat tire. I don't, I think it's a flat, but they've gotten more damage. I, I don't know what else to tell you, Patrick, but that just can't happen to this team. I don't know if it's a flat. I'm trying to get a good look at it, but they just lost. I think I heard some air come out of a tire there. I think the They're tires are out. okay. But they lost another part of the Hacks of the Future. Meanwhile, Iron Rose is stuck in the middle of the track. Iron Rose getting pushed off back to the hit pit lane. Iron Rose was sitting in eighth place with the horse Iscariot overtook him. Horse Iscariot on it. Nice. Meanwhile, the Batman is in the pits right now while Chibi Miku Man is gaining on them. Oh, that. The only person who needs that is Hack to the Future. Hack to the Future needs the Batmobile to stay in the pit lanes a little bit longer. Chibi Miku Man is just taking fourth place because the Batman is in the pits right now. Hack to the Future might take the Tesla Cup now. 